Hi, everybody. I'm Peter Amster, the stage director for Ken Ludwig's Baskerville, which is a kind of hilarious and scary at the same time, or hopefully alternating time, telling of Sir Arthur Conan Doyle's story, a Sherlock Holmes story, about this creature who lives out on the moors. And he's supposed to be scary as all get out. Uh, and we are building and designing a creature, a stage prop, that's going to hopefully do just that. Hi there, my name is Mary Houston. I am the head of the props department here at Syracuse Stage, and I'm here with the Hound from the Hound of the Baskervilles, who we've affectionately named Fluffy. And uh, we were just going to share a little bit with our uh, audience the process that we go through when we have uh, a prop like this to make. Um, this is Lisa Lutzen. She is the main artisan that is building uh, fluffy and she can speak to some of her process of how the the dog is coming together uh, so far. Um, the very first step of the process was building a paper pattern to lay out the basic shape and size of fluffy. Um, we wanted him to have physical mass but also be very lightweight for the things that we need him to do. His head is made out of a foam form from a taxidermist shop uh, as well as his teeth and fangs, and eyes and nose. The head shape itself was ordered from Van Dyke's taxidermy. Um, it was actually the head shape of a black bear, as well as the nose. Um, and I've done some shaping underneath his fur to make his head a little bit more dog-like. Um, the teeth unit was, it's actually a three-piece set from the taxidermist. The upper jaw, the lower jaw, and the tongue were all separate. Um, when I installed them in the, the foam head, I did some painting into it um, to make them look a little drooly and kind of gross. Uh, the tongue is actually made out of a material very similar to a pink pencil eraser, and uh, we actually tested it to see if it would erase pencil, and it does. 